I guess, uh, you know, Mark, I, I guess the first thing I just wanted to ask you is if you could tell me, you know, who you are and, you know, how you got into film and directing like this. Just a little brief background, I guess. Okay. Um, so my name is Mark Williams. Uh, I'm a Oklahoma Choctaw and Mississippi Choctaw filmmaker. I live here in Shawnee, Oklahoma right now. Um, been filmmaking since early 2000s, really. Uh, writing and then kind of directing uh, little short films, you know, just early, uh, you know, with my family and my friends. Um, 2006, I got my first film festival and um, never been to film school, so everything was kind of self-taught. So, you know, just kind of getting equipment, uh, begging people to be in my movies and just started making films and kind of getting getting more money, more, a uh, bigger cast and, um, you know, make your next project even better you kind of learn from your mistakes you know so um kind of been in and out of film festivals ever since then um narrative films is what i was making early on but 2012 i started getting into documentary filmmaking um like i said never been in film school so i'm always trying to learn more and challenge myself so i wanted to take a stab at doing some docs um i started doing paranormal documentaries early on um something called the Native American Paranormal Project, where we went to a uh, different side that, that has a native past to it and these unexplained stories. And uh, then I started kind of getting, uh, uh, started enjoying making documentaries and, and telling those kind of stories. And so 2016, I believe, I started uh, meeting with um, Native athletes uh, who has really good stories. and started kind of telling their stories as well, more so to um, kind of not only promote what they're doing, but show what it took to get there. Um, you know, there, there's just, um, I'm always trying to inspire native youth. And so um, I know a lot of people that I've interviewed and talked to, they have a nice following. So I kind of wanted to show what it took to get there. So that's how I started doing like native sports and then um, uh, Choctaw Nation saw what I was doing and uh, asked me to come on and do some documentaries for them, some cultural films. And so uh, that was back in 2018. I started making uh, films about stickball, basket weaving, weaponry, talked about social dancing, you know, a lot of the, a lot of, a lot of cultural stuff. And, um, and so that led to um, the film that's in Dead Center right now, uh, Ikiana Lachi, which is a, uh, it means I will remember. And it's about a, a relatively unknown story regarding the Trail of Tears. And so um, that center was actually kind of its world premiere. And that was the first time anybody's outside of who was in the film. That's the first time anybody's ever seen it. So I was excited about that. That's amazing. Congratulations on that. And also for teaching a little more Choctaw, uh, Ikiana Lachi. Ikiana Lachi, yeah, I will remember. I mean, everyone knows Oklahoma. But that, you know, that's, it's nice to have that. And I love that you use the Choctaw for the title. The, um, this is an interesting year. I mean, we here at OETA, we just spent, just did a, a special on the Tulsa Race Massacre, which is basically using <clears throat> a documentary to tell a history that some people don't know about. And, and I think it's interesting because this is a story that you told that I didn't know about in 1903. And I was just wondering if you could tell me a little bit about what is it that, that is uh, maybe a lot of people who saw this through Dead Center Films hadn't known before about, you know, removal from Mississippi as late as 1903. Surprising to me anyway. I mean, it, it was to me as well, you know, and that's, I mean, I'm, I'm talked all and I, and I kind of took pride in knowing I thought a lot of our history, but uh, about four years ago, I came across this article um, in, in a Choctaw tribal paper talking about uh, some Choctaws in 1903 was removed here by train, put into a building in Ardmore, and for lack of a better term, they were left there, almost forgotten about. And um, I just remember early on when I was reading the article, there was a line that said, to this day, nobody knows the whereabouts of these Choctaws. And when I read that, it's the, over 750 Choctaws on paper just vanished, just disappeared. And so, I, I, I was thinking that is a really great story. So I started making, writing a script actually kind of based on that subject. But a year later, 
I was shooting a film for Choco Nation in Louisiana, and we were talking about my next project. And they said, well, what are you working on now? And I told them about this article. I said, did you know? <laughs> it was funny. I was talking to the Historic Preservation Office. I said, did you know there was these chocolate that disappeared? And so I was telling them about it. And then that's when they said, the, the lady who wrote that, it's about her family. She's, she's right here with us. And so I started talking to her about it. And that's when she told me they've been researching it for years, trying to locate them and trying to find out where they go to and what happened to them. And that's when she told me they wanted to make a film about this as well. And would I be interested? And so, yeah, definitely I was interested. And so like a year after that, we started, we started shooting the film. So um, a lot of it was just was new information for me. Um, you know, when people think about Trail Tears, they think 1830s, 1840s, and, and you know, that's probably where, where they think it, it all happened. But it happened several times throughout the years. And then as late as 1903, and if anybody's familiar with Choctaw territories, they consider Choctaw Nation the 10 and a half counties in, around Southeast Oklahoma. To the west of them is Chickasaw Nation. That's Chickasaw country. Now, I'm not sure how many counties it covers, but it's a big chunk as well. Right there in the heart of Chickasaw country, there's communities, there's families, there's churches of Choctaws living there. No one, I guess, ever really asked, how did they, how did they get there? Why are there so many Choctaws in this little cluster area? Well, our film talks about that. They were brought here to the Ardmore area, which is Chickasaw country, left there. And, and what really happened was they got out of the building. Um, they kind of just blended in with other Choctaw families in the area, started building their own homes, building their own churches right there. And so the families just, you know, pr pretty much stayed there. And so right now to this day, there's a lot of Choctaws in that Durwood area, Dixon area, right around there. And so it was a film to highlight these families who are living there. And this group of Choctaws that came here to Ardmore has a huge influence on some of the things that us Choctaws practice today with our, our social dancing, some of our games. Um, some of the, 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 the designs in our, in our attire uh, was kind of helped revitalize by this group as well. So we're kind of, you know, showing them the proper gratitude for being a, a part of that, um, bringing all that back. You show a lot of things that people maybe wouldn't have seen of Choctaw culture. I mean, you talk about the stomp dances and the dressmaking and the chants. Um, I also like how you incorporated art you know, some segments in it was uh, using some kind of stop motion with art. I think it was yeah. by Deanna Bird. Is her name? Yeah, what Deanna Bird was, was uh, she, she did the, 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 the artwork for it. Um, her daughter was actually helped with the animation part of it, uh, which is really cool. That's the first time I ever used any kind of animation in my films. Uh, I remember when we came across the part about uh, Scott Ketchum did a really great job talking about the history of the movement and talk about the treaties and, and giving out all these great information, but kind of came across a problem. We didn't have any photos or anything of that time to throw up on the screen. I didn't want Scott just to be staring at the camera the whole time telling us this, you know, cause that's, it lasted almost seven minutes, maybe eight minutes long. You don't want to lose your audience that way. And so we thought about what if we just started throwing artwork up there, some kind of animation. And so it just, it's really, really turned out that Deanna, who, who produced the film, she's with Choctaw Nation Historic Preservation Office. Her daughter is a graphic designer as well, is going to college for this. And so she stepped in in the animation for us. And I thought it, it played out well to where you're hearing the information, you're learning about this movement, but at the same time, you're not getting bored by anything. You're seeing some kind of movement on screen other than our historian talking about it. So I think it all kind of played out well. It was fascinating, and I really like that segment with the art. And you know, I, I, you know, next time I'm in Ardmore, I'm going to go and see that building that you show. For it's sure. still there. Yeah. yeah. Um, how can uh, people, uh, you know, kind of follow you or, or see this? Is there a way after the film festival that they can see this? So right now, uh, we are sitting to some other film festival, which kind of waiting word, you know, cross my fingers if we get success in other film festivals. Uh, eventually, it is going to be at the new uh, Choctaw Nation Cultural Center. 
uh, they're building right now in Durant, uh, kind of a plug for them. They open the grand opening is July 23rd. Um, mm-hmm. I've already been there. It is awesome. It's amazing. Uh, so they're going to have at some point on rotation, they'll have the, 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 the movie playing uh, at the cultural center. You can watch it then. Um, even inside the culture center, there's a, there, there's a display talking about the artwork chocolate as well. So, um, that one will be showing, plus my stickball documentary, I understand, is also going to be in rotation over there. Excellent. Well, uh, thank you so much for your time, Mark, and and for teaching me. Let me try it again. Ikiana Lachi. That, yeah, that's pretty I will, good. I will remember. So I, I will remember, that. yeah. Well, thanks. I really enjoyed it, and uh, good luck with everything. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being patient and working out with me.